Well, you've simply outdone yourself. They're talking all over the city about how someone finally went through Dust Town and slaughtered the Carta like Genlocks. Not yet. Killing Jarvia brought me greater favor. But to truly displace Harrowmont, we'll need something dramatic enough to end the debate forever. What do you know of the Paragon Bronca? She is the only Paragon in four generations, and she turned her back on her responsibilities. A Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone with her support could take the throne unchallenged. I was hoping you'd say that. So far, my men have traced Branca to Caradon's Cross, an ancient crossroad lost to the Darkspawn four centuries ago. Her trail ends there. Perhaps with your Warden's expertise, you can find what my men could not. You must enter the deep roads through the mines. To protect the city, that's the only path we leave open. Caradon's Cross lies many miles deep into the tunnels. It was once a main thoroughfare, but before Branca, no one had stepped foot there in generations. You have my thanks. Seek her in Caradon's Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. You were serious before when you said you wanted to help Branca, huh? I'm Ogren. I don't know if you remember. People seem to forget me these days. Or ignore. I forget which. <laughs> I'm still her husband. More than that, I'm the only one who cares about her as a person. Not some symbol to leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Perfect. What's one more? Bronca was a brilliant girl. But half the time she'd add two and two and make it fifty. <laughs> you want to find her, you need someone who knows how she thinks. Ugh. I'm not some sodding elf maiden who sits around and waits for a passing hero to solve my problems. I'm a bloody warrior. I mean to get her back. And you wouldn't be down here if you weren't trying for the same thing. Bronco was looking for the Anvil of the Void. Might have been the most important invention in Orzammar's history. The smith Carradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the Anvil. As far as anyone knows, the Anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Carradin's Cross. No one's seen that tag for five hundred years. If Balin managed to find it, that's only because he's got dozens of warriors he can send to search night and day. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Horse feathers. Of all the lost and damnation. Indeed. Yes. Horse feathers. Lost and damnation. Indeed. Uh -huh. Yes. I am 
doing somewhat better now in terms of health and all that kind of shit, so so I can actually talk for longer periods of time without <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Without going into coughing fits. I'm not one hundred percent and I'm still coughing like a bitch, but it is better at the moment. I tried to record um, while I was still kind of sickish, but that didn't go through. That didn't. That didn't. That didn't work out. So instead, I just waited. A whole fuck ton of time has passed, but no, things in my life have changed, and I should be able to make more videos and whatnot. So. Um, I mean, it wasn't really a deterrent from making videos before, it's just that I didn't have the time to do it. So unless I was cutting out on my sleep and shit, then I wouldn't have been able to make... No, no. I would have been able to make the videos if I was cutting out on my sleep. But that's not healthy, so I just kind of put this on the back burner. But I did it just for fun anyways, so it's that. So it's not like I'm, I should pressure myself into doing it. Um, what else was I going to say? Wait, I'm genuinely going to be honest with you. I am not enjoying Dragon Age Inqui not Inquisition. <laughs> I like Inquisition. I am genuinely not enjoying Dragon Age Origin. I like talking to the characters and that whole thing but the combat mostly the combat the um i don't know it just feels dull then again i'm more of an action rpg guy than just a traditional rg r did i say rgp rpg guy than a thing than a full-fledged rpg rpg kind of guy so there's that the um what really got me into this rpg thing was games like Paula's gate and skyrim and shit before that i would play games that's more action or oriented so yeah and there's like few games it was either action or mmorpg that is basically what i was playing before i'm pokemon and shit right but that is whatever i could get my hands on at the time because i don't have no money to buy any fucking games right so now i'm playing all the games that i've heard about that peak my interest just to try them out and all that kind of shit so but this one in particular <coughs> not really not really enjoying it i played the a little bit of the intro for dragon age 2 and i enjoyed that more than any section of this game and yeah, I don't know, it just it it a bit more fast paced, it's a bit more in in my zone or some shit like that. <coughs> so I enjoyed that a bit more. So I don't think I'll play much of the DLCs for this other than whatever I have to deal with to um Mm. I want the full experience and I want to complete it 100%. I don't like half ass in these games and shit. And how much irks my soul that I ain't finished my fucking Cyberpunk playthrough yet. And if I stop playing it for longer than a week, I had the urge to start over from scratch and just beat it out in one session. <laughs> I beat it out. <laughs> right? <clears throat> so that 
But the thing is, I've been playing Cyberpunk for a while. And whenever I played, I tried to 100% complete it. So I did the majority of all the content in the game. Right? So starting over is not as appealing to me unless it has some kind of twist. Unless I play it with mods. Unless I play it with something that makes the game fundamentally look different. You know? The vanilla game has grown old for me. And I like to mod the shit out of my games, my guy. Take Skyrim, for example. I cannot go back to playing vanilla Skyrim. I can't do that shit. I have to play modded Skyrim and modded Fallout 4 or some kind of shit like that. I even put mods into Baldur's Gate 3 because of the amount of time that I spent in that game and I still haven't finished the full fucking playthrough yet. Speaking of, I was trying to make a little cinematic ass series out of the Baldur's Gate 3 using Azrael's Ascension. Azrael Ascension is the name of the playlist that I made. Is the name that I gave that specific um, playthrough. Right? But. I might have to change that. Um, approach to it. Because I just have hours of footage. And. I haven't even finished act one yet. It's easier for me to just fucking play the game like normal, cut out the combat or some shit like that, and then just move on from there, you know? Or leave the combat in and just move on from there and show general play gameplay, rather than try to chop up this thing into make it a cinematic experience. I ain't on that level of fucking... Um... I ain't had a level of attention. <clears throat> I ain't had the attention span to do that shit. Much less to drive. I too lazy for that shit. I play games for fun. I make videos for fun. Not for extra fucking work to do. Right? So it might be a lazy up it might be a lazy approach to take in terms of this shit. And it might show you don't put in enough effort. Nah, this is my free time and my way to fucking enjoy myself. So, I will just start a regular ass playthrough. I'm not even going to do the um, Dark Urge this time. I haven't even finished a fucking Tav playthrough. I'm not going to do the Dark Urge. I'll play as Tav first. Because I haven't finished the Companions stories and whatnot. So, right? So... I tend to want to keep them around and all that kind of shit. So you know how much times I regret killing Dale, killing Gale in the beginning of my dark and shit? Because I don't know the nigga full story. I only know up to like Act 2. Barely the beginning of Act 3. Right? And then I kill that nigga in every other playthrough on the dark urge thing. Except for like a 2, I think. But I'm going to play as Tav. Keep everybody alive. Play as some kind of hero-ish guy, I guess. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I'll do that. And then I'll go through and play as a Dark Urge with only hirelings. And probably a Starion and Minthara and Lazel. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Full, full Dark Urge. Or a Dark Urge that goes through a redemption arc. A Dark Urge that goes through a redemption arc. Where, you know, tries to be the hero to the, the test of the, um,. His blood or whatever. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna do a redemption arc, the Where K 
kill Gale. Who else to kill? I'm not touching Karlak. Karlak stays alive no matter what. I am not touching Karlak. Karlak might be the reason he has a redemption arc. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. Whatever. That's enough yapping. Let me just go ahead and play this fucking game. And yeah. It'll be a lot of cut. I'm not even going in 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 record the fucking random encounters and all that kind of bullshit. So I'm just going straight to the meat. Cause I want this over as fast as fucking possible. So I could go on to Dark Edge 2. Uh, Dark Edge? Dragon Age 2. And then after Dragon Age 2. The long ass game that's Dragon Age Inquisition. Inquisition. <coughs> I didn't get that out of the way. So that when April rolls in. Is Mass Effect. Um, since Mass Effect Legendary has come out. I have a yearly annual tra tradition. Of playing Mass Effect around my birthday. So I will play it. Throughout the month of April, from start to finish, fully, always a different class, a different playthrough, a different romance option, right? I streamed it last year when I was <laughs> streaming that shit, um, but it didn't go the best. I end up having a whole bunch of fucking problems with it. Because I modded it wrongly. Rightly, wrongly, whatever. Right? It was having a whole bunch of itch issues. It wasn't starting good. All that kind of a shit. So I believe I know better now. But there's that. So, um. Yeah, I guess. I'll do that. I don't know if I'll play as a femme ship or a male ship. Most likely a male ship, because Tali. And Liara. I'll do multiple romances. I I'm I am not going through that full game only play. Only romancing one character. Right? Liara is my main. I'm a waifu more right or die. Right? So I'm definitely going to be um, definitely going to be romancing Liara. That's not even up for debate. Ashley? No. Don't particularly like Ashley. Tally? Yes. Miranda? Maybe. Jack? Yes. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all the romance options I'll be dealing with. I think that's all the romance options in general. Jacob is not a romance option. As far as I'm fucking concerned, he could go die in a ditch. I'm not touching Mass Effect Andromeda with a 10 foot pole. I, I played it like twice. Start to finish twice. <coughs> I like the combat. I like the uh, ability to change a class at the drop of a hat. That's what I like. Right? But the story just... I I, I mean... It's not fuck withable. If you understand what I'm saying. It's just not fuck withable. I mean, I'm not no blasted game reviewer or critic or anything like that. But So, take my opinion with a grain of heavily salty salt. But it's just not. It, it feels like a poor imitation of a Mass Effect, of a Mass Effect story, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But yeah, um, I'll play some amalgamation of a Renegade and Paragon playthrough, 
I make the choices based on what I think would be great at the time. Mostly I tend to go with Paragon. Because... I don't know. I think Shep should be nice to the people in his group. But... I use that save editor like a motherfucker. And I boost the shit out of my Paragon and Renegade scores so that I am locked out of no dialogue and no options whatsoever. I could just do whatever the fuck I want and I like to play that way. If you have an issue with it, I don't know, fuck off. So, there's that. What else was I talking about? Why did I start talking about Mass Effect? Why am I standing still? I could be playing the game while I'm talking about this shit. Oh yeah, I don't want to miss anything. I did that. Crossroads, yes. Well, y'all like the titties? Keratin's Cross. I yes. can't believe Balin actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. Not a one. But trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Taig. She was going to Keratin's home. <laughs> Only Bronca's a hero, the most famed paragon ever to rise from Smith Cast. He built the anvil, and he's the only one who ever knew its secret. Aye, Bronca dug up some maps of the ancient empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now, but near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. It's the home of Keridan, the paragon who made the anvil. He was an Orton before he founded his own house. And even then, he spent most of his time in their Taig. Bronca figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. No one but Keridan ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone-blessed power. Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronco was sure she could find out. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. Nice sob story. Yeah, right. So, what was I saying? Well, y'all yeah, like the titties? I went through a great deal of effort to remodel this model. <laughs> Very well. I have to put the fucking credits for who made the assets in the description of my videos. I keep forgetting to fucking do that. So yeah, I gotta do that. They look like enemies and they are enemies. So we'll kill them. Well, look what we have here. Some of Balin's new toadies. Let's show them who's king. Yeah! Didn't I say that? I said... I see you. Yes.
Oh, that was exciting, wasn't it? Ah, uh, win. Care to partake of Ogren's fine homebrew? The drink of the gods. Mm, ale, is it? And I hope it's brewed hygienically? Of course. I may not know clean from a beggar's ass when it comes to most things, but I don't mess around with my ale. Very well, let's have a taste. Well, well, what do you think? Mm, very nice. Ah, you like it? <laughs> well, I never... Attractive amber color, nutty flavor, slightly sweet, just a hint of toastiness. There's some spice to it I'm finding hard to place. Yes, yes? Is it cloves? Cloves! Ha <laughs> ha! By the stone, you're a lady after my own heart. If I weren't buckled in this armor, I'd take you around the corner and, well, you know. Give me more ale. <laughs> this nigga been trying to throw down wind. <laughs> trying to get inside it. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to be looting these fuckers. They don't give me anything. They really fucking don't. I'm not even gonna bother with it. Give me anything? No. So I could ignore that. Back here. Best be wary. <laughs> I'm ready. 